again, you make it to day two. And when you look at the two names here, day two for both these teams was almost a demand. One of these teams isn't going to do it. It just shows you how stacked this group A is. If you look at all of the groups, I would say this is the most tricky one to get through. The fact that one of them is not going to be progressing, it really shows you how high the quality was. Oh, this is it. Will TSM get another disappointing dream back? Three day one dream back exits in one year. Chief still looking for their best run as well. Mainly CJ and Express. They've been a duo for many of them. They need to beat TSM here if they want to progress in to day two of this tournament. Oh, what an interception by Alpha. He's up pretty early for that one. And that's where you want Alpha to be. You want to see him forward being aggressive, ball chasing as much as possible. Alpha does take his time. CJ realizes it. Got to go straight towards it. Alpha now on target and Hawk will get the save. And Hawk's a player who I'm very interested to watch in this series. He's sort of been touted as the future of OCE. But right now, he seems like he's already got the talent to be a major player already. CJ on the ball. Does a decent job to get it away from Remco, but Matsunaris, a mainstay of the Rocket League scene. Over to Alpha and CJ's already on the backboard. Good proactive play from both teams. Whoa, uh -oh. that's open. Express tries to double it in, it's off the bar. Don't think he had a chance to fly over the top of that one and just put it straight down. A misplay from Remco creeping forward and completely missing his aerial. That does not bode well. Oh, the second. Oh, no. no. Oh, the... no, 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 no. <laughs> so Remco will score after a pretty lucky, I would say, landing here. Very, uh, well, we'll ignore very good bounce. Team self bump. You're going to ignore CJ uh, flying into the goal as well. Uh, well Give him a... <laughs> I will ignore that that entire play happened, to be completely honest. Yeah, Remco did well. I mean, he took his chance there. Just first man forward. No reason not to go in aggressively, play the ball. And it's going to be 2 0 as well. Alpha after the kickoff. TSM with a good start here. That could be huge. Yeah, Alpha, phenomenal first touch. Does all the work for him. The rest of the play was just making sure the shot was on target and TSM take the early lead here and they'll be pretty comfortable doing so. Chiefs need to sort this out very quickly otherwise this game could run away from them. Double bump by Hawk. The passing play for Express and CJ. Hawk actually on the far side but an interception by Remco. CJ's pass not finding his target there. Chiefs need to play better than this if they are going to beat a team like TSM. Oh, Alpha. Almost with a fantastic rebound. Back pass coming in towards Metsonaris. Well, it's been a consistent problem throughout the entire year for this roster, where they just seem to always play so well, but always a moment or two away from calamity. We saw it when they got reverse swept, uh, back when they were on, um, what's the old team name? Icon. Icon, that was it, when they got reverse swept in their promotion to one of the regionals. We saw it earlier on today when CJ missed the wide open net, that really was a momentum shifter. And we've seen it between a bump and a kickoff goal here, which has left this game one with a lot of work to do if they want to get back into it. Yeah, we all we always know TSM are going to be one of the most volatile teams at DreamHax, but they're still not an easy win. Even if, you know, in the days that they're getting um, upset early on in tournaments, they're not going to be an easy win. You have to step up and actually beat them. And right now, the Chiefs are not doing that. They've got a lot more of the series to figure out how to do so. TSM look like they're on another level right now. Metz still trying to bump Express, who's done well to get it past him. Now it's just a traffic jam at the near post for the Chiefs. It's Hawk and Express trying to get the ball clear together. Over to the side. Minute 45 on the clock. Lovely challenge from Alpha. What he was brought in to do, to be a nuisance. Remco holds the backfield. That was not a great half volley from the backboard. Does allow CJ to move forward. There it is. And that's half the work done. That is much better by the Chiefs. They realized that Remco is likely to hit the ball over to this left-hand side. So not only Hawk, but also CJ positioning himself on that side of the field to intercept the attempt to clear. That's well played by them. It would have been very easy to just tunnel vision down the right-hand side because that's where the ball was. Chiefs a smart play, bring this game back into a one-goal deficit. I've got to say, Hawk once again on top of this. Very he's quick reactions on him. Yeah. He's just someone that, if he finds a team that can, or his team can currently like hold the halfway line, he's going to be nearly impossible to get past. He is just that quick at reacting. 
Yeah, that was the real question mark with the Chiefs as Will Hawk plays well. Hold on a second. Well, somebody does. It's into the bar, though. Opportunities are starting to come for the Chiefs, and it's still a minute left to find an equalizer here. TSM sitting deep and just absorbing pressure. I think they looked a lot better when they were bringing the game to the Chiefs, to be honest, and trying to box them into their own half. Well, it's been a permanent issue on TSM where they will allow teams to play. So a lot of the very top teams right now just do not give any space available, but their issues come when they give teams chances to play, and the other team does tend to go towards them. And some of the Chiefs seem to be finally realizing that they've got space to work with, but they don't have much time to work with. Just under 30 seconds now. Another goal for TSM would surely put this one beyond the Chiefs' grasp. That's a good shot by Alpha, but it's off the bar. Metz with the interception. Maybe getting into the last chance territory for the Chiefs, and the ball is back in their half. No hard clears coming. Inside the final 10. Nice half volley there from CJ. Gets some pressure off his team. But they need this one moving quickly, and Metz has covered that clear so well. No way out for Chiefs. TSM have got game one, but they were made to work for it. Yeah, very interesting game there. For a while, it looked like TSM might just open up and start to run away with it. You know, there was the one goal, and then a kickoff goal immediately afterwards. And sometimes, when you've got the talent that TSM do on their roster, you can just blow the game apart. We've seen uh, Maus do that a lot in the past, where they put in four, five, six goals against even the best competition in the world. And Chiefs getting a little bit of a breather, actually. TSM decided to give them some space and ended up conceding. So it's not a dire situation. Yeah, of course, the only Chiefs man really wants the Chiefs to win this one. His <laughs> Brazil's the brethren. He's not happy with what he's seen there. Yeah, it was a brilliant touch by Alpha there. Hawk not expecting this self-pass off the wall. Alpha with the easy finish into the top corner. Alpha has just always been such a solid player at almost at full speed, getting delicate touches. It's it's an art form that you can really do it. As I think we got a slight glimpse in that game as to what we are going to see from Alpha as he develops in this TSM roster. As we head into game two, Chiefs will be hoping for a little bit less of a scary start for themselves. They did hand away quite a lead. And they're gonna wanna try and take this one because otherwise it will be a TSM on match point. So let's see if TSM can make the most of their new signing Alpha. It's actually CJ opening the scoring off a Hawk pass. The TSM flat-footed in defense. And it's gonna be very good for Chiefs to be seeing that CJ CJ's got his shooting eye in. That's his second now of the series. Good placement. Very, very good placement indeed, but the setups have been very nice. Very pulled away from the goal line, which makes the goalkeeper's life a lot more difficult. Chiefs, perfect start in opening 10 seconds. So let's see how TSM decide to respond to this. Are they going to attack, 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 let Alpha loose? Or are they going to try and just prevent another goal from going in and wait for the Chiefs to mess up? Let's be honest, no matter how you play, do you really think you're going to be able to stop Alpha from wanting to attack? From boosting. <laughs> yes. Just, uh, He's come from a team of 100 to 0 boost players. He's not going to stop it anytime soon. He is taking all the boost right now. It doesn't matter. Oh, Hawk almost dunking one in off the bar. It's off the bar again from Express. And now CJ shots blocked. TSM are under a lot of pressure early on in game number two. Remco just gets attacked a little bit by CJ. He was on low boost. Now CJ might want to turn for this one, but it was always going to go straight over to Alpha. And Alpha is actually unchallenged. Might wanted to put that one on target. One of those situations where you think you've got to do a lot of work, and it turns out it was actually relatively simple. It was initially a cam play there by CJ at the back, but he has whiffed, and that's caused Express to be under pressure. They get the ball clear anyway. And that willingness to dribble the ball in defense is great from CJ. Not only that, but he didn't try to flick it. He just dropped it in front of himself and went for a 50-50, because the worst thing that can happen is you get a massive dunk on you when you're trying to go for a flick in your own half. I like to see the force 50-50 from the Chiefs there. Still, they're not able to get the ball clear all that easily. TSM setting up shop outside their box and they keep on smacking the ball back towards the blue goal. And no pressure on Express for now and he will get it past the halfway line. Now CJ in for his own dribble. Remco does try and get rid of it, and now it's Metzer. Blasts it long. Going to Express, who finds the corner, but what a read that is from Remco. 
almost immediately put that right into the path of Alpha. Three minutes on the clock, still lots of time here. And TSM looking like the more likely team to score at this moment. Yeah, Alpha, really, I think he could have trusted Remco a little bit more there, moved it over to the uh, goal line. Just a little bit earlier, give himself a chance to score should the ball come across. Didn't look like Chiefs at a clearing angle. He didn't have to be too afraid of that. But half the game gone now, and Chiefs still lead by one goal. Looks like this is set up to be a pretty close one. Let's read off his own back wall, Metza. Baiting in the Chiefs, but Express, solo defending, takes it past everybody. Really well played by him. It seems to be that almost everyone in this field is not willing to let anyone challenge. Oh, oh my goodness, Hawk blasts it past TSM's defense. Look at this pass though from CJ. CJ, he's disguising this one as a shot so that no one on TSM is positioning for the interception on his pass. That, that deception by CJ is what gave Hawk so much space and time to pick his spot. And you've got to remember as well, CJ CJ is going to probably be going for that one with the ball cam on. That's almost a blind pass over to Hawk. And now CJ looks to try and make it free. The Chiefs are making quality opportunity for themselves. Still time for TSM though. Couple of minutes. He's got to get the ball to Alpha, see what he can do. But TSM have never been the most reliant on passing plays. They prefer to just Brute force their way through their opposition. Use of the backboard, primarily infield passes also. Something that they're very, very competent with. Renko, in a 1v1, he's demoed from behind though, just took a bit too long to release the ball. I do wonder why he didn't just shoot that one when he had the chance. I don't think he was quite, the second touch did not set up for the hook shot at all. Hawk, oh, that's gonna be number three. All right. And this kid is a superstar. Hawk, just a downfield stealing boost, waiting for the pass. And look at that finish. He's just used the underside of the car. Maybe even getting a flip reset on that one. And you didn't have to do that, Hawk. You could have just put it in with any surface of the car, any corner, but now he's decided to score with all four wheels. Just because why not? And it's wide open for CJ. CJ, TSM have fallen apart in defense. And it's almost the exact same way as we saw from the Chiefs in the last one. Hawks' goal was phenomenal, but immediately following it is a kickoff goal. And the Chiefs, I mean, if you drop this one, mm. you wouldn't have had a chance for the rest of the series. They should be taking this now. I mean, unlike the kickoff goal we saw from TSM in game one, that was just a completely unforced error. Metzenoris whiffing the ball. He just flew up and missed, the, missed his aerial. You can't afford to be making that kind of mistake at this level. The kickoff goal last game was just Alpha outplaying Hawk. He just had a good dribble on him. Metzer is also not the sort of player that you would ever relate to inconsistency. Usually his influence over the game is a little bit less stated, but it's certainly there. So the fact that he's making mistakes is not a great sign. CJ, you know, pressure on that is an awkward bounce though for everybody on the field. It does look like the time is just gone from TSM. They have not created enough opportunities here. You compare this game to the last one, the main thing that's changed is TSM are playing a little bit more passive. They're not attacking um, Chiefs as much as they were in the first match, trying to seal their boost and deny the Chiefs the space that they need to set up their passing plays. Well, there was a minute, a long window that we saw earlier on in this game where TSM were dominating possession and chances created. But they just didn't make anything of it, and then immediately following it, there was almost an entire change in the amount of aggression oh. for TSM. We're going to try and <laughs> some sort of momentum as they head into game number three, but they can't do it. And the Chiefs, dominant for game two. At the end there, Remco was pre-jumping to try and score off Alpha's rebound. That's a really big swing of momentum, though. The Chiefs, lots of talking as they go into game three. They don't have a coach, one of the teams here that have not decided to bring one with them. So they've got to do all of their discussion themselves. Wonder what Jake is saying to TSM to try and improve their luck going into the next game. It's actually a very interesting topic as well overall because this is the weekend that we're going to be able to see what sort of coaching styles mm. we actually have across because there's going to be a lot of people that are sort of more passive. And there's a couple of names I'm thinking of this weekend who are going to get very, very loud, especially as we get towards the latter stages of this tournament. Yeah, it was a really nice finish there by Hawk. I mean, by that point, the game had gotten a bit spread out and TSM didn't have 
much of a chance to come back. But it's that second goal that's the, the standout play for me. Not uh, just the finish from Hawk, which was perfect to the left-hand side of the goal, but the pass from CJ. He's identifying there's nobody from TSM attacking this ball. They're all expecting me to shoot this, so I'm not going to shoot the ball. I'm just going to pass it down to Hawk, and then he can shoot once TSM stall on the goal line, once they've had to hit the brakes and <laughs> reconsider their options. TSM have got to be taking turns aggressing the ball to prevent that from happening. Well, Hawk's now just going to try and add some freestyle to his gameplay. Unchallenged for the oh. longest time is Express hunting for the double demo. But it's Alpha and Remco. And uh, that was a little bit of an opportunity wasted there. Hawk always had that one covered. Yeah, it's interesting to see Alpha shooting that one before taking one more touch. Maybe he just misread it, thought he could hit the ball hard enough to score, but the only touch would have set him up perfectly, I feel. Makes sense for me is that they saw Hawk taking the boost route, and they thought maybe, maybe he, he was doesn't. Low. Maybe he didn't get it, yeah. There is an option, of course, to just shoot and see what happens, especially this early in a game. Just test the youngster, but Hawk's been tested quite a lot in defense, and he's had an answer every single time. CJ now being pretty tricky on his way forward. He's going to be dropping down. Quite wow for Alpha. CJ is happily challenging everybody at the moment. Love the fake challenge, though, by Remco. That really messed with CJ's dribble. Got him to pull the trigger on the shot much earlier than he would have liked to do. That's what you need to be doing if you're TSM. You, like, ball pressure doesn't necessarily mean a challenge. No. Because faking a challenge is perfectly acceptable and Lots of situations, now Remco's up for this. I don't think he can reach it, the ball is going to come off the post. It's Alpha for the shot, straight into Hawk. He continues to be in the right place at the right time every time a shot comes into the Chief's net. Attempted pop, easily taken away by Metza. Another long clear. TSM have seemingly taken the hit it and hope strategy so far in game number three. No major mistakes so far from Chiefs, although they have been often rotating back. What a save! Oh. And again it's Hawk! The fact that he's knocking that ball clear as well, so huge for Chiefs, because now look where the ball is. This isn't a position that TSM can really utilize. They can't shoot from here. They can't really pass from here. There's nothing going on. So the fact that Hawk managed to knock the ball into that corner while saving it is, you can't really exaggerate how big that is. Well, now he is going to be rotating back. Flicks it over the top. He can follow this one. Once the flip reset, oh. Metzenaris. Perfectly level challenge from him, and he couldn't get the ball to either go over the top of him or through him. And go again looking for a dribble, something he's done a few times now in this series. Still nil-nil. Almost halfway through game at number three, and what could be a very telling game at number three indeed. The TSM right now, they are playing more aggressively than they did the last game. They're getting more chances, and they're hindering the Chiefs, who are not the best dribblers out of defense, so... You know, you're not going to be too afraid of challenging them early because you're not expecting, you know, a chaussette style play to just tear you apart. But still, both teams looking very, very even. I mean, you could, if TSM loses this series, you could say, oh, look, what a disappointing tournament again for TSM getting day one. But this group has been so difficult. The Chiefs are playing very well. GC Aura have gone through beating Maus after beating TSM. So it's not even an embarrassing loss here. That They've just ran into a really tough draw. Both these teams have. Gonna be dropping down. CJ for the backboard. Should be covered, and it will be. Lovely half volley across the field. Well, that's so it's a Hawk. Bit too high for him. Couldn't get the touch that he wanted. And that's gonna be very dangerous. Real Express will be there just on time. What's the pinch? Blocked by Remco. Remco being a lot more proactive right now. To Mezzanaris. Couldn't find the double. And Alpha. Not there quick enough. CJ to Hawk. Hawk gets rid of the danger, and Chiefs can breathe yet again. The Mets are still not really showing up this series and playing as well as we know he can. This is a former second place and third place finisher at the World Championships. But his touches have not looked all there today. He needs to improve his consistency, especially when TSM are having such a difficult time against the Chiefs. Flip reset for Alpha. Comes down low with it and Express shuts him down on the bounce. Brilliant timing on the challenge. Yeah, I think what helped out Chiefs there as well is how far down the field Alpha was as he got the flip reset. I mean, even if he does hit it, it's going to be a somewhat regular shot onto your net. Definitely something you can react to and realistically save. Chiefs constantly looking for the pass. Unlike last game, there is an interception from TSM to prevent it from working. We're well inside the final minute here. Still no goals scored. Been a tense game three. Both teams very aware of how important a game three is. When you're all tied up here, 
who's it going to be with the big play to separate the two teams? It does feel like one goal will be the winner in this match. Metzer leaving it for Alpha. Again, Express in the way. It's not got a huge amount of boost, but no one on TSM seems to know that. Maybe one last opportunity, but who's it going to be? TSM. To the other side, Remco for Alpha. Again, shut down by Hawk. And now CJ's got it on the hood. Metzenaris is the only one back. Alpha shot right right ahead. You He's got it! Oh! What a save! Alpha scrambles and claws to keep it out of the net. Brilliant stuff by Alpha. Hawk ran ahead, nailed the bump onto it. I believe it was Metza. But Alpha keeps TSM alive. What a play. That would have been zero seconds by the Chiefs. CJ with the ball carry. Hawk with the bump. It was all there. Alpha, the hero for TSM. Now Alpha. Tries to go to the other side of the field. Remco pushing only as far as CJ. Although that could be open now for TSM to move forward onto. But Express quicker than the opposing opponent. Over to CJ. CJ keeps that one available. Hawk, that was risky. If he lost that one, there was going to be nobody else back. Just over 30 seconds in, CJ has played that one back. I don't think he quite knew that. Alpha was around. Alpha now looking for a setup. It will be clear to express the far corner. TSM are trying to keep the aggression up here. They do not want to get caught out by giving the Chiefs too much space to connect a deadly pass like they did last game. But the Chiefs are actually moving up very far themselves. Look how much space there is between the players as they aggress. That's making options for TSM, but Hawk just goes straight through Remco's mind game. He does not care. He's just going to play the ball. We drag from Hawk down. Clear by TSM. CJ, he's got time, although he hasn't taken it and makes his own life a little bit oh. difficult here. Express to Hawk, and Hawk is perfectly positioned for the volley away to the other side of the field. These little passes by the Chiefs are getting the ball clear. If they can just do that pass in defense and offload quickly, it's so much easier to get that hard clear right over TSM. Well, as you mentioned earlier on, Chiefs aren't really that great at dribbling the ball, so they found their own solution at getting these clears. Oh, look at the an open net, and Remco slots it down the middle. TSM have gone match point. Big plays from Alpha. Boost seal on Hawk, turns around, slaps him into the corner, leaves it wide open for Remco. And the same man who's got TSM to overtime gets them out of it as well. What an end in sequence, especially those last two minutes. And Alpha seems unfazed about his outstanding game three. And a game three that could have gone either way. This is still a very, very open series. But Chiefs are the ones that have got more work to do. Yeah, Alpha's looking good for TSM, the new signing just as impactful as we were, we were expecting him to be. We need to see more from Metzenaris, certainly. His touches have not been as powerful as we're used to seeing from him. Um, yeah, apart from that, TSM are looking pretty solid. They've shut down the Chiefs well there. The amount of moving pieces in Look this play alone. And just, <laughs> just gets there. Everybody, I think there's four players on the field that all did as well as they could with that play. It's interesting there because uh, CJ, many times this series, has been just doing these little touches to bring Hawk into the play. But there it didn't work because Alpha is behind him and getting in the way of Hawk, stealing his boost, bumping him into the corner. And that's definitely something that Alpha is known for. If you look at the average uh, distance from the opposition goal, for all players in Pro Rock League, I bet Alpha would be one of the closest to <laughs> the most aggressively positioned in the world. He does love to get forward into offense as much as possible. Well, Alpha is going to start us off. Nice little pop up. I see how Express has read that one. Both Express and Hawk have just seemingly been on top of every single move. Yeah, mechanically on point for sure. It's been up to TSM to try and find some sort of gap. Tap over to Hawk. It's now going to be Hawk continuing the play forward. And that's Norris. Just launches to the air. Remco wants to try and challenge, but Express very nonchalantly just taps the one over to the corner. Yeah, been very impressed with, Hawk, uh, with uh, Express recently. Well, Hawk as well. But Express definitely looking like his best version of himself that we've seen for quite a while. And that's been a big part of why the Chiefs are looking competitive here. I mean, both these teams, based on what we've seen so far, Definitely look like day two dream hack. 
level. There's yeah. no question about that. Especially game three. Yes, game one and two certainly had their uh, their off nut moments for both teams. But game three especially, if you sh showed that to anybody and said what day of the competition was this on, they would certainly not respond to you day one. Well, that's the beauty of Dream Hack, though. We've got great games on every day of the tournament. Be sure to tune into all of them. TSM just needs one more in order to make it into day two. Of course, you know, I said earlier that definitely not an embarrassing loss for either of these teams. Should they lose this match, but it will be a it would be a devastating loss. It, would, it wouldn't be embarrassing, be but it would be disappointing. Oh, it would be hugely disappointing. These teams are so desperate to get into the not just day two, even day three of this tournament. They want to be going all the way. And they know they can if they play their best. Interception from Remco, that's key. Shutting down the Chiefs at what they've been doing best all day. CJ didn't have enough boost to get around that ball, but he can pass it to Express. Alpha again. Unreal. What do you have to do to get the ball past that man? It was such a good play from CJ and Express. The pass was ideal, but it just doesn't matter. Alpha, both sides of the field, performing well. Certainly the MVP so far. Nice challenge from Remco. Keeps the ball on the chief side of the field. Now Metza is going to be forced to leave that one, but... The question becomes, what can Chiefs do to try and get rid of this? Oh, oh dear, well, oh dear. Not oh, helpful. my goodness. And, uh, well, I'm not entirely sure what happened there, but it, it happened, it's the I guess. Chain. It's the chain of whiffs. One person misses the ball. Nobody's ready for it. So it didn't look like a ball you'd, you know, have CJ missing most of the time. But that's exactly what happened, and TSM do not punish that mistake. The Express trying to find CJ. They've gone towards the center quite a lot here. I'd like to see Chiefs starting to open up a few more routes for themselves on these passing plays as TSM are shutting more and more of them down. This might be it. Hawk infield to Express who puts it too high and puts it too wide. Yeah, that was really good passing again by the Chiefs. They've been looking quite a lot for that pass into the middle, like you said, but it's, it is still working every now and again, even though. TSM are starting to read that pass. Remco's had some key interceptions on those. They're still getting opportunities out of it, so I wouldn't expect Chiefs to stop doing it. They just have to be careful, because if they do get a really obvious one started, that could be a pass to your opponent. They could just lose the game. Yeah, just off that one. Play able alone. To mask that last one a little bit better. Mm. So she have to passing it to the far corner for putting it back into the middle. Just over a minute left. A little testing shot downfield over to Express, and that's quite awkward as well for Chiefs to deal with. Express would have liked to have given CJ CJ just a little bit of room to run onto the shot. But overall, hasn't really done too much damage to them. Alpha, he's got time, he's got space, he's got boost, and he almost found his way all the way to the net. It's so important that Express got multiple touches in this ball. The whole team was up. <laughs> they see Alpha coming at them in the air. That is panic. Metza knocks it down, he can't catch up to it. It's just bouncing in front of the Chiefs net right now as we approach the final 30 seconds. Infield, Alpha. Once again, couldn't run onto the shot, means no power can be generated. That one, though, has got plenty of it, and Hawk forced to find the corner. That's Norris's touch, might be available. I think CJ, CJ might be low right now. He is struggling to get his car moving. And that's going to mean that TSM can try and lock down even more. Now CJ, nice long clear from him. And the Chiefs have got a bit of room as we head towards the final few seconds. Another overtime might be about to be on the way. Hawk, straight down the middle. Alpha, once again, just putting it over to the corner. And we are going to see maybe Alpha to the other side of the field. Puts it over into the middle and Express with yet another clear. Well, Express actually choosing to keep that one up. He could have hit a downer. Are they going to regret that decision? Because ITSM are coming in for the shot. It's saved, though, by CJ. Overtime decides the match again. Chiefs need a win here to stay alive in the tournament. They face elimination. TSM can win and progress to day two by scoring one more goal. Here comes Alpha. It's over the top of Hawk, who's managed to collect it and drop it off to CJ. The boost has been an issue for the Chiefs in the latter half of this game. Chiefs right now 0-2 on stream when it comes to OTs. They need to change that, and that shot could have done so, but CJ lacking the sort of clinical edge that he had in our opening two games. Dead waits for Express, that's a lovely challenge. Over to Hawk, 
Nobody on TSM really able to react right now. Even Alpha's touch is just going to be a setup for CJ. One to find the top corner. Couldn't quite do so. Yeah, I think CJ was a little bit uh, caught off guard by Alpha and not getting a double touch clear in that play. So his aerial is a bit sluggish. Oh, that that's open. open Remco's got a chance to try and rebound this in. Can he hit the shot? He puts it into the middle. It's saved by Express. Open for Mesa. He puts it off the post. How? How have they not scored here? The double Jeez. commit happened. Hawk went for boost, and TSM just did not realize the opportunity they had. And Remco, not sure if he was trying to shoot, but he managed to hit the ball right to his teammate who was waiting in the middle. But then the ball just kind of slowed down and it didn't really move anywhere. Now Hawk to the corner. He wants to try and find a setup. Instead, Metsnaris stuffs that one almost immediately to CJ. CJ's had three shooting opportunities right now where you'd expect him to at least hit one clean. Now Remco, he's, he's done it! to finish it! TSM are gonna move on and the Chiefs are out. No, if TSM had lost this game, Remco would be absolutely kicking himself for not scoring earlier, but he's the one who scores the winning goal.